Transition is a triumph of the highest consciousness of Earth mankind. According to the certain algorithm for the development of consciousness in the solar system, there are special mechanisms to coordinate the development of the highest consciousness on the planet, consciousness of mankind. In the last, final, the highest phase of development of the civilization's consciousness, the following happens. There are two modes of consciousness, individual and united. The individual mode of consciousness is characterized by a desire to take, and the united mode of consciousness by the desire to give. United consciousness is the highest level of consciousness in the universe. When the development of individual consciousness of humanity in harmony of a given planet reaches the highest level, it is necessary to complete its cycle of development and to transfer to the next system of improvement, the cycle of correction. Otherwise, its rotting and degradation will begin. However, to complete the cycle, consciousness has to attain the highest level not only in the mode of individual consciousness, but also in the mode of united consciousness, the highest for the universe. Therefore, for the transition to the next cycle of life, humanity should change the mode of consciousness from individual to united. However, this change is extremely difficult and even to some extent an insoluble, impossible task as change is a basis of everyone's consciousness. Change of individual consciousness on the united means to replace the desire to take by the need to give. During the first cycles of development of individual consciousness, when it is not very perfect, when it under no circumstances wants to give, there is a special mechanism that forces humanity to unite consciousness under threat of total destruction. In this way, the highest level of consciousness is achieved at the end of the cycle on the planet. This mechanism is based on the abilities of consciousness and is as the following. On the planet, two processes are combined, the development of consciousness and changes of the planet's magnetic field value. The higher level of consciousness of the civilization living on the planet becomes the weaker its magnetic field. And finally, there comes a time when the planet's magnetic field decreases to a critical value corresponding to the onset of global cataclysms. Civilization, consciousness of which reached the highest development, has to inevitably perish because the planet on which the perfection of consciousness ended is then subject to total destruction. At this point, extraterrestrial civilizations inform us that the only way to save life is to use the action of united consciousness, which will allow us to make the transition to the highest safe level of the material world where disasters do not exist. There will begin the next cycle of life, the cycle of corrections. Extraterrestrial civilizations give all the instructions, how to unite consciousness, what structure it should have in order to cause the strongest effect, etc. Thus, there is very little time for training and the transition. Therefore, only by unifying consciousness will civilization continue its life. Otherwise, it will be destroyed by global catastrophes. Thus, only the mortal danger of total destruction could force civilization to unite consciousness. This way is achieved by the highest level of consciousness being in harmony with a given planet. Gradually, after several cycles of life on the planets, the consciousness of mankind completely transfers into a mode of the united consciousness. Only then will the universe be open to that civilization and the possibility of intergalactic flights will arise. Extraterrestrial civilizations inform us that humanity of Earth will get these possibilities already after Mercury, after we make the transition to the planetary system of another star, not the Sun. This new system in which we, humanity, will live will be smaller and consist of six planets. After the perfection of consciousness on all six planets of the new planetary system, we will transfer to five individual planets. This is the algorithm of our future. However, it may not happen if civilization does not unite consciousness in time, before global cataclysms. It will not make the transition into the next life cycle. Today, Earth dwellers first become acquainted with the possibilities of their consciousness, which allows to make the transition to parallel worlds. Already in the next cycle, humanity will master flights not only to Mars, but also to the distant planets of the solar system, and then we will discover for ourselves flights in the universe. Extraterrestrial civilizations have done a great job on our planet. They created worldwide huge majestic complexes, 
pictograms in order to inform humanity about the coming events. However, mankind stays idle. Today, it is already clear that we won't be in time to make the transition prior to the second pre-cataclysm. After all, we do not believe that it will happen. For this reason, we will have to make the transition in the extremely severe conditions and in a very short time. Extraterrestrial civilizations will not allow that the second pre-cataclysm occurred in full power. Thus, they retain the lives of many inhabitants of the Earth. Only then, humanity will have possibility to continue life. People's consciousness of our civilization is still imperfect and causes too little action. Therefore, the laser beam for the transition can cause only a huge number of people, the whole civilization of Earth, synchronously unifying consciousness. And we will make it. Transition is a triumph of the highest consciousness of Earth mankind. This is a great victory of mutual aid in the universe. The cycle of development of consciousness of the universe will end by the unification of all galaxies. Our transition should be based on well-known principle, love thy neighbor as thyself. Edgar Cayce, renowned American prophet, warned about coming global cataclysms. But the hope of the world will come from Russia. It will not be communism, no, but a society based on the principles of brotherhood and mutual aid in which everyone will be responsible for each other. Thus, Edgar Cayce talked about the unification of consciousness of mankind. The extraterrestrials inform us. This is what it's about. It's about the necessity of unifying human consciousness for the transition as the only way of salvation from a global cataclysm. And we, Russian scientists, decoded their messages, pictograms, and transferred their content around the world. Extraterrestrial civilizations inform us that due to the present state of the environment, the high level of solar radiation as a result of the thinning of the ozone layer, the critical weakening of the planet's magnetic field, as well as the events of the near future, whenever possible, it is now necessary to limit the amount of food consumed. However, it is necessary to consider a state of health and, if necessary, to consult with a specialist. Listen to the next message with extraterrestrial civilizations emergency information on our YouTube channel, Our Transition 49. Please inform us about groups for the training of consciousness unification for the transition around the world by our email alidia8 at yahoo.com or vpopova at gmail.com. Detailed information is presented on our website www.ourtransition.info.